From a distance, I stared at her. She seemed perfect in that moment. Beautiful, intelligent, confident, poised. My heart picked up as I watched her. My hand trembled nervously. I reached out to the table to steady myself. I was already in love. Yet when I had the chance handed to me with silver chopsticks, I divided and ran. In that moment, I couldn't shovel my shy, splintered pieces back into a pile of a man. So with clouds gathering overhead, I drove back out of town on Route 102 toward Misawa. The air had changed. As I got back on my bike, it started to rain. The fierce gusts of wind pushed and pulled me as I took the first bank around the lake road. The lurching of the bike in a banked turn on wet pavement caused my rear wheel to start to skid out from underneath me like a shoe on a banana peel. My heart skipped, my eyes focused, and my mind sharpened under the sudden stress. I lost consciousness. Now, crashed up against this rock with no way out, I believed. I believed in something that was around me, with me, looking out for me, compelling me to live out my destiny. I believed I couldn't perish. Not yet, not now. I wasn't finished. There was work to do yet, some work, some mission, something important that I had to do right 